Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA A plus exam questions set to core 1 1101. So let's get started. So the first question is that examples of USB ports that can be found on mobile devices include, we have to select three answers, USB-C, micro USB, USB type A, mini USB and USB type B. And the answers are USB type C, micro USB and the mini USB. So USB C is the latest and most modern connector type that we have been uh, that we have seen in the uh, smartphones. Micro USB is a little older and the mini USB is the oldest of all these. So the next question is what is the name of a property of a proprietary connector type used by Apple mobile devices. So this is uh, a straight answer. I hope all the uh, Apple uh, mobile users will already know the answer and the answer is the light, lightning connector. This is the picture of this connector. The third question is, which type of technology enables contactless payment transactions? And the uh, choices are NFC, SDN Software Defined Networking, PED and WAP Web. And the answer is NFC or Near Field Communication. This uh, feature allows the transaction between two devices or between, two, between a card and uh, a POS transaction point without uh, entering or inserting, or inserting the card. So this is why it is called a contactless payment transaction or a contactless payment method. The fourth question is that a popular short range wireless technology used for connecting various personal devices in a wireless personal area network or WPAN is known as the option R802.11, NFC, Bluetooth and Z-Wave. And the answer is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is uh, the connection that falls in the PAN, the personal area network, and it is wireless, so we can also uh, say that the, uh, the uh, network is known as the wireless personal area network. The next question is that the docking stations, we, we have to select two answers. The docking stations are typically designed to work with most laptop models, universal design, Next option is usually offer additional ports and capabilities compared to port replicators. The next option is typically are designed to work only with a specific laptop make and model proprietary design. The fourth option is offer identical features as port replicators. And the last option is typically offer less ports and capabilities than port replicators. And the answers are usually offer additional ports and capability compared to port replicator and typically are designed to work only with a specific laptop make and model. It means that this is a proprietary design, not every model or every laptop offer this port or this feature. Next question is, what is the name of a laptop component that provides the function of a pointing device? So the options are function key, trackpad, mouse, and KVM switch and the answer is the trackpad. So in laptop we usually don't use the mouse which is typically used as a pointing device and the laptop trackpad is used as a pointing device inside laptop. Next question is which of the following answers refer to the 2G slash 3G mobile telecommunication standards? We have to select two answers and the options are CDMA, NFC, CWDM, GSM, and CSMA. And the answers are CDMA and GSM. These were the standards that were used before 4G and 5G. The next question is that the long term evolution or LTE is a wireless communication standard for mobile devices and wireless hotspots. LTE offers significant improvements in terms of speed when compared to the older generation of 3G cellular networks. LG and its later revision LD Advance or LTEA are often marketed as 4G standards. 
So we have two options, either this, either this statement is true or false and the answer is true. So the 4G is uh, in fact LTE, we, they are used interchangeably, sometimes uh, we call them LTE and sometimes 4G. The next question is that the latest standard for mobile telecommunication is known as the answer as 3G, 4G, 5G and 6G and the answer is 5G. 3G, we, 3G and 4G we have already been using and the 5G communication is the latest one. It's already redeployed in some cities around uh, in some countries while in other countries it's uh, just in the implementation phase. The next question is that the term mobile hotspot refers to a type of wireless local area network or WLAN that enables network access through a mobile device that acts as a portable wireless access point. So we have two options, either this uh, statement is true or false and this is true. We use, uh, we, uh, use the mobile hotspot in our daily usage. We connect mobile to the internet using 4G or LTE and then uh, uh, use this internet connection to serve other devices through the mobile hotspot. The next question is that a database of a mobile device containing bands, subbands, and server provider IDs allowing the device to establish connection with the right cell phone tower is called the option R, PRL, RIS, PRI, and PII. And the answer is PRL or preferred roaming list. The next question is that the process of establishing a connection between Bluetooth devices between a Bluetooth enabled headset and a Bluetooth enabled phone is known as the options are linking, tethering, three-way handshake and pairing. We have already done that. Most of you will, uh, would already know the answer and the answer is pairing. The next question is which of the following answers refers to a security feature used in Bluetooth device pairing? Again, we have used uh, Bluetooth pairing and the answer must be known to most of you. The options are PIN code, multi-factor authentication, biometrics and clear text credential. And the answer is PIN code. We usually uh, use four digit PIN code for Bluetooth device pairing. The next question is which type of software enables a centralized administration of mobile devices? And the options are MFA, MMC, MDM, and MFD. And the answer is MDM, also known as Mobile Device Management. The next question is, which of the following facilities, the enforcement mobile devices policy, which of the following uh, facilitates the enforcement of mobile devices policies and procedures? And the options are MFA, MMC, MDM, and MFD. And again, the answer is, MDM or mobile device management. Question number 17 is which of the following answers refers to a dedicated mobile app management software? The options are UEM, MAM, RCS and MDM. And the correct answer is MAM or mobile application management. Question number 18 is what is the function or of FTP, email service directory access serving of web pages and file exchange and the correct answer is file exchange so FTP stand, stands for file transfer protocol so you, if you know the abbreviation you already know the answer the next question is that the telenet is we have five option and we have to select three the first option is it it encrypts network connection second option is it provides username and password authentication Next option is it transmits data in an unencrypted form. Next option is it does not provide authentication. And the last option is it enables the remote login and command execution. And the answers are it provides username and password authentication. Yes, it transmits data in an unencrypted form. And the last uh, uh, answer is it enables remote login and command execution. So the telnet is used for remote login on mostly the network devices, network switches and firewall. And so we uh, telnet the device, we uh, enter the username and password. So it is used for uh, username and password identification. Its drawback is that it is 
that it transmits the username and password in unencrypted form. It means that if someone uh, in the middle intercepts the username and password, they will see the username and password and this is a drawback from security point of view. And the last uh, answer is that it enables remote login. Yes, it enables remote login to the network devices and command execution. Once we log into the uh, device, we can execute different commands on that network device in uh, such a switch or a firewall. Question number 20 is that a type of cryptographic network protocol for secure data communication, remote command line login, remote command execution, and other secure network services between two network computers is known as, the options are TFTP, RDP, SSH, Telnet, and the answer is SSH. So the SSH does all the functions that are done by the Telnet, but it additional function is or its edge over the uh, Telnet is that it is secure. The data transmitted between the switch and the client is encrypted and it is secure. So it does not have the drawback of Telnet that is the data is not sent in an unencrypted form but it is encrypted and even if someone intercepts the data it won't be able to uh, make any sense of that data. The next question is, which of the answers listed below refers to a secure replacement of Telenet? Again, we already answered this in question, in last question, and the answer is SSH. SSH is the replacement of Telenet. It does all the uh, functions of Telenet with the additional feature of security that it encrypts the communication between the remote device. The question number two, 22 is that the SMTP SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Uh, SMTP protocol is used for, we have to select two answers. Option one is sending email messages between mail servers, name resolution services, serving of web pages, retrieving email messages from mail servers, and sending email messaging from a client device. So the answers are sending email messaging between mail servers, and sending email messaging from a client device. So if you know the abbreviation of SMTP, that is the simple mail transfer protocol, you can easily select the two options. The next question is that which of the following answers refers to a system containing mapping of domain names to various types of data such as numerical IP addresses and the options are TCP IP, DNS, SQL and DHCP. And the answer is DNS domain naming system. So if you know the abbreviation of DNS, you already know the answer. What, what, what DNS does is that it names the uh, IP addresses into domain name. For example, if we have www.google.com, this domain name is converted to IP address by DNS. So this is a function of DNS. Let's suppose, for example, the IP address of Google is a.a.8.8. .8 so this function is done by DNS. This translation from google.com to this IP address is done by DNS. The next question is that a network protocol providing an alternative solution to the manual allocation of IP addresses is known as the options are TCP slash IP, DNS, SQL and DHCP. Most of you will already know the answer and the answer is DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. So if you know the abbreviation you will already know the answer that it is dynamic as compared to the manual configuration of IP addresses. The last question of our today's session is that which network protocol enables retrieving contents of an internet page from a web browser? So the options are SNMP, HTTP, SMTP and IMAP. And the answer is HTTP. So when we uh, log into our, when we use our browser and we type HTTP Mostly we now use HTTPS and www. 
let's suppose google dot com so as we are typing http it means that the google web page the search page is retrieved by the http so our answer is http so that's all for today i will upload uh, the next video in the coming days so to watch these videos and the upcoming video please stay tuned and sub subscribe thank you thank you all for today